Welcome back to the SCG. What a day for Catherine Branch. She's worked really hard in the field. The Australians, they tried hard. Great shot there from Mooney. She was definitely the star of the innings for the ladies in the Australian green and gold. Mooney's been in fantastic form. Dispatches that one to the boundary with a bomb. Very technically correct. Another great view going over the cover region. Perfect day for cricket at the Sydney Cricket Ground today. Australia and England. And this is not what the Australians wanted to see. The Kookaburra into the stumps. A great shot here by Annabelle Sutherland. It looked fantastic. She loves that cover region. Didn't always work for her though, unfortunately. Here's Mooney with a great shot. Very unorthodox, very untypical cricket shot but one which got great results for her on multiple occasions today at the SCG. And Mooney definitely the star performer. She just makes that look so easy. Just got into a good position early. Here comes Brunt again. And that ball goes high. That goes high. And what a catch in the outfield as the English take another wicket. She's excited as she should be. The Australians will be very disappointed in the batting department. The English certainly on top with the ball. Great shot there by Sutherland. Classic cover drive all the way to the boundary. She tried again, didn't necessarily work on that occasion. Picked out the field up, took the aerial route and was unsuccessful on that occasion. As we see the ball going high, high, high and into the hands of the simulated her cricket. Hello and welcome back cricket fans, it is Simulated Oak here, this is Cricket 22, the first time that I have played Cricket 22 and I haven't really done much so far, I've watched a couple of videos, not too many, but I've been keen to give this one a crack, we still will be carrying on with the series, we'll complete the series that we started on Cricket 19 in relation to the women's big bash but this is cricket 22 this is going to be my first look at it all i've done so far is to basically adjust the settings for my production for my recording for what you're watching now so that's basically screen resolution adjusted and music turned off because youtube hates music even if it is in-game music or even if it is a siren which somehow matches the algorithm um, etc now before I click on and we go into it just a note about this screen Cricket 22 is by Big Ant Studios and they're the ones that have done the Ashes and also Cricket 19 and now Cricket 22 and there's previous episodes in the cricket series on Simulate Dirk that you can go back and watch. Don't forget to subscribe, like, smash the like button, you know, all the YouTube sort of things that people usually say. But it has been tradition with Big Ant to feature because they usually get the Australian and the English teams, um, both one day a T20 and test. You know, the official likenesses, the uniforms that you can see, etc. And it's been customary for them to feature the men and women's cricket captains for each country. Now, there was a slight complication when Cricket 22 came out. In the lead up to Cricket 22, 
last the last test season and the last summer that we had, the summer of not of 2020 2021 Tim Payne was the captain of the Australian men's cricket team in the test arena and so it looked like that he was going to be the test captain for the current summer the 2021-22 season and so All the artwork was done, all the promotion was done with him in it, in this, on this screen. And Big Ant said, okay, it's going to come out on this date. You know, it's at the start of the, start of the Australian cricket season. It's the start of the summer. It was just before the Ashes series in the men's was supposed to start. Then there was a massive drama which cricket fans would be well and truly aware of where Tim Payne decided to leave the captaincy and leave the Australian team and ultimately at the time of recording still has left cricket as a result of the incident that happened and everything that went along with it. But the drama for Big Ant Studios and Cricket 22 was that everything was ready to go. They were just about to push the go button when this was announced and Tim Payne was no longer the Australian captain. So as a result, Big Ant wanted to be current with what the Australian teams were at the time of release and so they said, no, we're going to have to delay it for a week. We're going to have to take Tim Payne out, put the new captain in, and that affects screens like this, and so he probably won't be in the game at all, etc., etc. So, the Cricket Australia is in our call. I'm used to still thinking of them as the Australian Cricket Board because that's all the ACB, that's what they were when I was growing up. They needed to find a new captain. And so, there was a lot of talk about which player in the current Australian team would step up to be the Australian captain. And of course, there was a lot of debate about Steve Smith after Sandpaper Gate, should he be the captain again? But it was a case of, okay, we've got some options, who's going to be the captain? Because who is going to be the captain is obviously who is going to be on this screen. Big Ant Studios actually took a punt during the week or so where all the captaincy discussion was going on And they decided to put Pat Cummins, who you can see on screen now on the right-hand side, they put him in the captain's position for Cricket 22 before he was officially announced as captain by Cricket Australia. Now, it turns out that it it was a pretty good educated guess, and that's what ended up happening. Pat Cummins is the Australian cricket captain for the Australian men's test team. And he appears here, as you can see. Now, it would have been, well, I think it's only about a week, two weeks delay for Cricket 22. You know, it's not as if Pat Cummins wasn't in the system already. He was in the system, but of course, there was artwork that needed to be altered, and he's now in this image.
So, with the story of who is the Australian captain behind us and who is standing there next to Meg Glanning, the Australian women's captain, let's get into Cricket 22. So this is going to be our first look. I did have a look... I did have a look at some of the settings. Now I'm not going to go through the settings in any great detail except to say um, except to say that there's new commentators and we'll meet the new commentators. Uh, there's new music that you can turn on or off. And if there's a particular song that you don't like, you can take it out of the playlist. If there's a particular commentator you don't like, and there's four commentators, uh, you can elect not to have them there either. So you can play at the Asher series, you can play online, or you can play a wide range of tournaments now. You can play career mode. Now, competition mode, for the first time natively, includes the men's big bash and if we continue down I am severely hoping to see the women's big bash as well there's New Zealand competitions in there as well the Pakistani leagues and if we continue to scroll down Sri Lanka Caribbean Premier League the NCL, the Women's National Cricket League, which is the one-day version of state cricket for women, and what has been rebranded this year as the Weber's Women's Big Bash League. So considering that we were doing a tournament, and I will finish off that tournament uh, between the Big Bash League that I made up, and manage to download all the players, etc. We'll do that on the next... We'll complete that series, and then we'll get back into Cricket 22. But for our first look, let's play a WBBL match, as I've been playing often. So what we might do... I don't want to play a competition. I just want to play a match. Welcome. Okay. Um, I just want to play a game. Play now. Play a single match. That's what I wanted to do. Create new women's match. So now... Oh, let's just play Australia and England. And I am... Going to proceed. Um, no, I don't want to play a test match. Come on. Women's International, WNCL, Women's Big Bash Lake, England Domestic, The 100, Indian Domestic. Women's International. What have I done? Oh, I might have to swap it around. So it's Australia over here. Hang on, we don't go Australia versus Australia. Oh, come on.
Why am I having so much trouble? Okay, here we go. Australia versus England. Proceed. Match settings. Okay, here we go. Women's one day. Okay. That's good. Match settings. The ADI lineup, it changed it automatically. That's good. Sydney Cricket Ground. Australia versus England. Let's get into it. So it's a little bit of you getting used to the new um, user interface. Ya ta ta Ya ta 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 Probably because this is the first time this is loaded as well. You know, the Sydney Cricket Ground, the SCG, the MCG, doesn't matter where we are. Cricket 22. Oh, Richie would have loved that. Cricket 22. The 21-22 season. I'm recording this in... That weird little week between Christmas and New Year. That's a really weird It's a really weird sort of week this one where I'm where I'm recording it. The English are getting absolutely smashed in the Boxing Day test. As this as this is going on as I am recording, the game's probably over by now by the time you're seeing it. It should well and truly be over. The way the English are playing it'll be over in three days. Here we go. Cool presentation so far. I'm going to try and minimise the commentary. We're live this morning from the Sydney Cricket Ground. You join us for this one day international between Australia and England. I'm Mel Jones and joining me for what should be an exciting contest is Michael Atherton, Ian Healy and England's very own Ali Mitchell. Thanks Mel, always a pleasure to sit alongside you in the commentary box. Earlier I took a look at what we can expect from the day's conditions. And this surface really should provide a great contest for us up in the commentary box. There's something in it for the bowlers, but if the batters can get on top, it'll be good for batting. It may go the way of whoever bowls first. Well, we really couldn't have asked for a better day. The weather gods are shining on us and there isn't a cloud in the sky. Brilliant work there from Ali Mitchell. We're going down to the middle now. The captains are ready for the toss. England called tails. England win the toss. The visitors win the toss and will bowl first. Oh, I could listen to the voice of Alison Mitchell all day just quietly. So it's good that there's four different commentators, two men, two women. Mel Jones in previous editions. Alison Mitchell joining us for this one. So the Sydney Cricket Ground looking fantastic as it should. It's not a new ground for Big Ant. And here comes Healy and Haynes. Now it might be lacking some atmosphere because I've turned the music off. 
So that may be the reason why. Healy will take guard. Brunt has the privilege of bowling with the new ball. Umpires have signaled that they're ready. Let's get this match started. Okay, Rachel Haynes on strike for the first ball of Cricket 22. That one simple as you like inside the ring. So Haynes on strike. Wait. Can't get that outside the ring field. I think when we put, I think when Healy goes on strike, I'm just going to go maximum attack and see what happens there. So Brunt coming into Haynes, Australia yet to score. Hasn't get it found through the, the gap. Field. Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot ball. Wait. Straight down Finds the, the crowd. Field with that shot. Finds mid on. Hasn't found any gap so far, Rachel Haynes. Oh, that was a full blooded shot, but straight to cover. And she hasn't straight found the, the gap again. That brings to an end another great display of bowling. No score from the over. Pressure being applied to the batters. So lots of different lengths there, but Rachel Haynes just couldn't find the gap in that over. Healy comes into bat, has performed well over the last few matches and is in really good touch. The right arm medium bowler is coming into the attack from the Paddington end. Now the Australian and women, the Australian and English women's teams will be having their own. Wait on. Doesn't beat the infield. No runs on that occasion. Got into position nicely, just too early on the shot and couldn't find a gap. Wait. Quick okay. onto that in the infield. So these two teams will be meeting in their Ashes series over the latter half of the Australian summer. Oh, that boom, Healy! Long way back, almost effortless batting. Well, that was timed very, very well. Great shot, driven down the ground and flew over the boundary. <laughs> Sorry, Ali, but that's not down the ground. Down the ground ish. More square than down I'd the like ground. To see them aim for top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. You give that much width, and you are asking for trouble. That was so well timed, it flew over the boundary. Shorter boundaries in the women's game, but that didn't that didn't matter very Bounty much at all. Delivery. Is it a sign they're trying to push the run rate? Huge! That's flown. That's just a brilliantly aggressive shot. Gets onto the front foot and it's flown over the boundary. Achievement unlocked. Go fetch. English players will be going fetching that one for a while. Cleared the rope easily, Healy one bounce over the, the fence. Shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. Oh, swing and a miss. On the drive. The bowling's too good though. Great line and length beats the edge. Not many opportunities out there to score. Australia survived after a very tidy over. Brunt from the Randwick end. Um, very tidy over. Wasn't that three sixes in a row? Rachel Too Haynes good. gets in the act now. That is huge. Wow. Power off the front foot goes all the way.
getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have been very happy with that last shot. I don't know how you can have 18 runs off an over and it's a tidy over, but anyway. Good piece of fielding to stop some runs. The crowd are really getting quite raucous. It's going to be difficult to focus down in the middle with all this noise. Oh, Boot. nice shot. Nobody's Crunch catching that. On the front foot and bang, gone all the way. It's really hard not to get caught up in the excitement. The crowd are loving every minute of this match. All right, maximum attack from now. Let's go, girls. Oh, no, she's got to be out here. That's gone. Nice, simple catch. They don't drop those. All right, maximum attack. Try and get our shots right. The timing was a little bit early. The first wicket's down. Back to the pavilion, and disappointment is etched on their face. Can't believe they got out like that. The field will come up now, you'd think. Pressure should definitely be on as a new batter strides to the middle. The bowler will be looking for another quick wicket. All right, let's go, Lanning. Right out of the middle of the Oh, beep. Don't That's even bother to run. A lovely drive through the covers. There was no need for the fielders to chase that. Knight, I don't think will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. Wait. Doesn't beat the fielder at point. A little late on that. No run scored. End of the over. 16 runs coming from it. Australia are one for 34. All right, let's see how Healy goes. She's on 18. Dispatched and out. Fantastic catch. She didn't have the timing on the shot. Two down, the long walk back to the pavilion for them. And this could be a huge swing of momentum. The batting team are now on two for 34. All right. Is it time for Elise Perry to come in and... Oh, brute force, Ash Gardner. Let's go, Ash. It's a long way to walk out here just to walk straight back. They'll want to get their eye in first and then push on. Wait on. Good no. shot. A beauty. A little late on that. No run scored. I am playing in simple mode. Shrub sold to Gardner. Hit that hard and fast. Well, that was a very solid shot. Read the length early to get onto the front foot, and that raced away for four. I don't feel there was too much wrong with that last delivery. Just need to keep getting the ball in the right spots, and the reward will come. Go oh, on. what a catch! Gardner is spewing. What an absolute reaper of a catch off her own bowling, caught and bowled. This was whacked back with some force and she leapt to her left. And Ash so Gardner has to tell a story down. of walking. Not a happy person walking off the field. There's a real feeling of disappointment. With the fall of that wicket, the new batter comes out to the crease. They're quick to take guard and face up. Mooney taking guard has been playing well in recent matches. They'll be eager to get bat on ball and bring their A game for this innings. 
Oh, Moody. That's for the crowd. Well, that was a really well timed shot off the back foot. Saw it early and it was dispatched with ease. Always difficult to focus after what happened the last ball, but just got to stay positive and believe the wicket will come. Oh, wow. That was seen so early. The timing was brilliant, and that is stayed hit. Fantastic. Playing all their shots in that over, a very expensive one. Great shot. Now, I'm using more risk than I would in a normal game. Gorgeous cover drive, surely heading to the boundary. Well, that was a poor delivery. You can't bowl there, and it got what it deserved. Backward a square. Well, this match is certainly getting exciting, and the crowd have joined the party. It's pretty noisy in the ground. Ooh. Wide. Bowl that one again. No surprise there to see that one called a wide. Will you listen to that crowd? They are loving this. It's difficult to hear yourself thinking here. You got to turn your, your headphones down, Mel. Whoa, we are. Super shot, that. Well, that ball has been hit. It's flown into the crowd. To get that much power coming forward onto the front foot is just ridiculous. Moving the scoring rate along after that last shot, their intentions are clear for this innings. Boom! Middled that one. Great timing. Well, enough leverage there to get a good swing of the arms under it to get it over the rope. Just need to keep it simple. Line and length around the top of off stump. Eventually, it'll force a mistake. Dives and takes a nice catch. Oh, no. She dead set called it, Mel Jones. The delivery wasn't there where Mel suggested. But the catch, oh, it's a ripper. It's another wicket. The fourth now. Sometimes you've just got to accept that you couldn't do anything about a delivery. And with that wicket, the new battle marks centre. Just needs to rotate the strike early on as they get settled into their innings. All right, Pez, let's go. Maximum attack. Wait on. Beats the fielder at not cover. Nice getting, shot. Not getting again, out first see ball. You later. Two wickets on the trot. The idea was good. Where it ended up. Starting to get interesting now. That's the fifth wicket. And a very frustrated person is heading back to the pavilion. Talia Magradia. A difficult period as they come to the wicket. They don't have much time to set themselves up before facing their first ball. All right, let's go. What? That's a hat trick. Picked out the fielder as easy as you'd like. And that is O-U-T. Really getting to the tail enders now. Sick wicket gone. There's not a lot left in this lineup. Nicola Carey now. Lots of pressure coming into bat. We'll have to wait though to face their first ball. Catch. Go, Biff Moody! incredible. It's flown into the crowd. To get that much power coming forward on the front foot is ridiculous.
can't afford to go too full again. It helps to switch up your deliveries just to keep them guessing. Got Has she picked out the fielder? The Absolutely no not. Running. Sometimes you've just got to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early. Well timed. Four runs. This delivery just needs to be pitched up on a good length. Too short and you'll get punished on this pitch. Boom! Timed that absolutely perfectly. This is a brilliant piece of batting. Onto the back foot and pulls it high over square leg for six. Somebody retrieved that ball. Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary. I don't think it'll matter, honestly. Nicely played. Managed to get onto the front foot early and just incredible power to loft it over the boundary rope. Beth Mooney won't get tired from running if she keeps hitting him like that. That last ball isn't something you want a repeat of. You just don't want to give away easy runs. Absolutely middled that. That was just an unbelievable shot. Middled it and it flew over the boundary. Brilliant stuff. Oh, it can be disheartening seeing good deliveries smacked around. Sometimes, though, you just have to accept it and move on. Straight nice down shot. the ground. That's just timed brilliantly. Moves closer to 50. It's going to need something really special to get the breakthrough. Pretty good areas to the left hander. Been some great bowling in this inning so far. Just need one more to really top it off. Waiting. Straight along the ground. Our oh, superb timing. Oh, I thought she was in dramas. Sometimes you have to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early, well timed, and four runs. I thought she was in a lot of trouble, Nick Carey, down the ground towards mid off, but she managed to get it through. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key. Wow! Clean strike. The fielder can only watch it go over their heads. Huge six. Well, that's a very good hook shot. Onto the shorter ball quickly and has hit that well over the boundary. Nicola Carey, 10 or 3. Oh! Oh, oh no! Ends up. Oh, no, she's played on. Can't believe that. That's unbelievable. They find themselves seven wickets down. It's about now you need someone to stand up and stick around at the crease. Beth Mooney needs to get a half century. The new batter always likes to feel bat on ball early as they bring a bit of energy to the wicket. Annabelle Sutherland. Sutherland ready to face their first ball. Really needs to settle quickly and see if they can get the ball into the gaps. Drives it into the covers. Beautiful Fielders shot. have no chance. The gap was left open for them and they were happy to oblige. Picked it early, got into position well and punched it to the boundary. Oh, that's a great view. Tried for something a bit different last delivery and the captain shouldn't mind that. If they get it right, they might just get the wicket. And again. Right out of the meat of the bat. Caressed that nicely through the gap to the boundary. At the end of the over, 
Australia are seven for 119. All right, Mooney needs four runs for her 50. Off eight deliveries, but she's... Waiting. Collects that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. All right. All right, she's had a cider. 46 off nine. Oh, what a way to bring up 50. That is an amazing half century. Just mammoth stroke making. Just an impressive stint at the crease so far. 52 off 10. Head over the ball, great shot. That's racing away. That was a lovely flowing drive through the covers to pick up the four. A different view there. Two boundaries in a row, no need to panic. They should take a moment to collect themselves and try again. Another rip. All the way, got it right out of the middle. Don't always mind getting hit for runs. What's important is to focus on getting the next delivery right. right. Ouch. Clean hands makes it look easy. A little bit of a leap to get that one. The eighth wicket to fall. The opening batters out there in the field will probably be starting to prepare themselves for their own innings. And with that wicket, the new battle will mark centre. Molyneux just needs to rotate the strike early on as they get settled into their innings. Try that one again. Confused on what that delivery was meant to be. Terrible bowling. As they get ready to face their first ball, early on you want to get the batter coming forward and getting them to play away from the body before they get themselves settled. No need to run there. No runs on that occasion. Got into position nicely, just too early on the shot and couldn't find a gap. Smashed all over the park. I wonder if the captain will stick with them. Looking at some of Beth Mooney's highlights. All right, Annabelle Sutherland on eight. Can't get that outside the ring field. A little late on that, no runs. That's a boundary safe for sure. Five for 51, or four overs, been expensive, but five wickets. Five Australian bodies in the shed. Quick to get onto Beautiful the back foot, shot. and it's flown to the boundary. I'd like to see them aim for top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Ooh. Wow, that's missed oh, the lot. Oh. They just need to settle down. Got no, no timing at all no at the wide moment. For that one. And these balls are there to be hit. So time for cool heads. Shot. Shot on the front foot. No one's getting that. Finds the middle of the bat, great timing, lovely front foot shot that's raced to the boundary. 
Did I not call that? Sutherland has gotten the big shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. Gone! Ouch. Great catch, quick reactions. He'd barely have to move. Tammy Beaumont, wow, to pavilion. That's nine down now. Some good bowling, finding this tail out. And it certainly feels like this is close to the end. Stella Cable, Coming sorry, wicket, Stella. They're looking to play in the V early and expand as they get settled. Trubsol from the Paddington end. That actually does look like Stella Cable, my God. Oh no, Molyneux! Caught! The innings comes to a close, and what a way to finish it. That really doesn't feel like enough runs on this pitch. Real pressure on the bowlers to get some early wickets. Just look at that ramp. Just leads the body back, leads the head back. Highlights have actually been pretty good. Two golden ducks to Perry and McGrath. Molyneux out second ball. That total definitely saved by Beth Moody with 62 off 13. Meg Lanning 20 off 6. Elisa Healy 18 off 7. And Rachel Haynes 12 off 10. Uh, English bowling figures. Only the two bowlers use. Brunt 6 for 59. And Trump sold four for 85. I only realised halfway through that that I had actually got the settings for a one-day international, not a T20. I think the batters are going to be pretty confident coming out to bat. It's a small total to chase down, and this should be comfortable. The bowlers are going to have to be switched on from ball one. Let's go into the bowling. Perry now. Ready to steam on in. Perry now to Winfield Hill. 
Overstepping. Oh, Just a little Pez. too eager on that delivery. No ball. First ball of the game and a free hit. Perry will be disappointed to have overstepped. They're normally very good. May need a slight adjustment. And another no ball. Seems to have forgotten where the crease is. Decided against the run. Not sure why they would have made it comfortably. Four runs. They were so still at the crease. Just a slight movement forward. Fabulous shots. Boundary last ball. What's to come this delivery, I wonder? Yeah. Better. Just a little bit of room given, and the power was immense. That's flown over the boundary. And of course, that would have been a free hit from the previous no ball anyway. Even Lanning, if it was I don't caught. think will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. She's overstepped On that again. Nicely. Good defence. A little sloppy on that last delivery. You don't want to be giving away free runs with no balls. Lost all rhythm in their run up, giving away extra runs and opportunities to score. Well, that one's for the textbook. Stands tall on top of the bounce and a lovely flick of the wrist at the end. Moving the scoring rate along after that last shot, their intentions are clear for this innings. And she's this overstepped again. Maybe time for a rest after this over. I'm pretty sure that... It's really all going wrong for them. In a situation like this, the captain has to step in and get the focus back. Front ball, front foot, no ball. And she's done it again. Just wasteful. Any chance of a legal delivery? I'm going to have to do In some situations more. like this, first you just need to focus on getting through your over. And then you can spend time until your next one coming up with new plans. Was that legal? Yeah. No. Well, and it's on the way to the boundary. Too much room given. It came onto the bat really well, and a beautiful shot that just raced away. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have been very happy with that last shot. You're going to call that one a white or a no ball? No ball. A lot of pressure coming to the crease. Not had the best of weeks leading into this game. So I want to show everybody their strength. This is the time as a bowler where you need to put those last few deliveries behind you and focus on the basics. A legal delivery, Pez. Hard and fast. That really wasn't a great delivery. Seen early, and it was dispatched with a plum. Perry shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots. Just need to tighten their areas now. I want to see how far she can. I'm not even going to... Getting right in and behind it. Nice, solid defence. I didn't even press the button then. Perry needs to get their run-up sorted. It was all wrong the last delivery. They're normally so much better than this. Wow. Yes. Nothing Stella Campbell can Umpire do about that. Wide. Oh, Rachel Such Haynes down delivery. there. Really need to work out what actually went wrong. 
Well, this match is certainly getting exciting and the crowd have joined the party. It's pretty noisy in the ground. Finds the fielder with that shot. Another no ball. Gonna have to do some reading on how to prevent no balls. Didn't keep the foot behind the line. Just a slight tweak to the run up will sort it out. Yes! Timed that perfectly. It just looks so easy. Gets onto the front foot and eases through the ball. They can just stand and admire that shot. Always difficult to focus after what happened the last ball, but just got to stay positive and believe the wicket will come. Yes. That's too easy to pick up a single. Got the boundary last ball, punches it into the gap to get a single. Excellent batting. Doesn't seem to matter when I press the we button. To make use of the extra delivery. Extra delivery? She's only bowled three legal deliveries and she's bowled about 20. So Two in a seems. row. It's just sloppy, really. Well, that was a very solid shot. Read the length early to get onto the front foot, and that raced away for four. Will you listen to that crowd? They are loving this. It's difficult to hear yourself thinking here. Yep. Legal. Oh, nice shot. 50 partnership, we're still in the first over. A boundary last delivery. Is it a sign they're trying to push the run rate? You think so, Mel? Oh, that was... Still honing in on their lines. The batter happy to let it go through. It's a, it's a timing issue of when I'm actually supposed to time it. Shaver stepped again. Doesn't beat the infield. Really should be aiming for the block hole. Stop them getting leverage under the ball to hit a six. Easier said than done. Nice shot. So if you, you hit just can't hit it any better than that. Beautiful shot. No chance at all for the fielders. So if you don't hit the button to deliver the ball by the time you reach the umpire, um, you're pretty much going to bowl a no ball. This over. This is the legal deliveries. The legal deliveries actually weren't too bad when you look at it like that. McGrath coming into the attack from the Randwick end. Good piece of fielding to stop some runs. Waiting. Quick onto that in the infield. Couldn't get it through the field. Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot ball. Good over this from McGrath. The bar's not exactly high after Perry's over. Yeah, yeah. Onto the front foot. Super shot. Should be four. You can't fault the bowling. Sometimes your opponent is just too good. Wonderful front foot shot. And there was no point chasing that. I, um... I don't know what to say Do after that full? first. Do they go short? A lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary. Waiting. Straight to the fielder. Yeah. Couldn't have hit that any better. 
Well, you sometimes just have to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early, well-timed, and four runs. Perry, one for 58 after one over. And she's overstepped again. I think that's called for the front foot. Not by much, but that doesn't matter. Overstepped on that occasion. Catch! Catch. Catch. That's flown. Nobody's going to catch that. That's a brilliantly aggressive shot. Gets on the front foot and it's flown over the boundary. This delivery just needs to be pitched up on a good length. Too short and you'll get punished on this pitch. Yep. McGrath with a good piece of fielding. Nicely done. Into the gap and it's an easy single there. Manipulating the field. Asking questions of the opposition captain as they take a single. Overstepped again. That's a solid shot. An effort ball and called for the front foot. At least they've got an extra ball to go for the wicket. Yes! That's too full. Nice shot. Could be four. Saw it early and went for it. Muscled it to the boundary rather than timed it. I don't feel there was too much wrong with that last delivery. Just need to keep getting the ball in the right spots and the reward will come. So press it now. And she's overstepped. Collects that one, simple as you that like inside well, the ring. That was well behind the umpire when I pressed the button. Good opportunity for some runs here. A change of pace or pitching it up right on the toes could be now. the right option. But they've got to be careful though. It could yeah, yeah. easily result in the ball sailing over their head. That's what you pay the entrance money for. It's flown into the crowd. A brilliant shot off the front foot. No need to move. We've all been there when nothing seems to be going right. All you can do is get your now. head down and remember your basic skills. Yep. Avoided the fielders. One bounce and four. Fantastic shot. So these are the things. Back to back boundaries. Can these they are the make things you really got to work really out. Put the bowler on the back foot. These are the things you got to work out when you play a new version. Waiting. Timing just a little early on that occasion. 1.5 overs, none for 83. The crowd are really getting quite raucous. It's going to be difficult to focus down in the middle with all this noise. Press it now. End of the over and what a beauty it was. Say what you want about the bowling, but you still have to hit them. Majestic batting. Oh, that was a very brave decision well, to leave that one. There are two kinds of leaves in cricket, and that is a good one, which sees the ball sail through to the keeper and not rattle the stumps. No pressure on that run. They were wise to the run there. Excellent call. It was off the pad and they got through quickly. They may have overstepped. 
but the captain shouldn't be disappointed by the effort, just need to adjust the run-up. Yeah, the umpire is saying get some practice to calling no balls. Drives oh. it, complete miss. Beautiful slower ball, no contact at all. That was just too good. Wait on. Can't get that outside the ring field. Shot. Right out of the middle of the bat. Ers on the side of bowling slightly fuller and have been put away. I'd like to see them aim for top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Away, save your legs. And that brings up the hundred run championship for these two. A good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball. It'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. Eleven runs added there. England a none for 102. All right. Um, let's see. Tactics. Manage bowlers. Perry from the Paddington end. No. Let's give um, let's give Stella a bowl. The right arm fast bowler is coming into the attack from the Paddington end. None for 102 after four overs. Wait, yeah. Oh, there you go. A no ball. Maybe just trying a little what? too hard. Just need to get more control back. Didn't press the button early enough, clearly. Now, superb yeah. timing. Caress that nicely through the gap to the boundary. Big re rebound off the um, advertising hoardings there, the boundary. Don't always mind getting hit for runs. What's important is to focus on getting the next delivery right. Wow, that's missed the lot. Tried to get the drive away, but timed it poorly. Lucky to survive. Eight. Go on. A little late no. on that. No run scored. Must have hit it into the ground. Wishful thinking.
Good stop. Out Probably managed to prevent up. four runs. Oh, direct hit. Well, that's an example of good running. Should always be on the lookout for runs in this format. Shot. Hit over the ball. Great shot. That's racing away. That wasn't a bad over. Hang on, did I not say that Stella should be bowling next? Campbell, the right armour is coming into the attack from the Randwick end. That's a boundary save for sure. Where'd that go? Where'd that go? Four, four all runs on the overthrow. Everybody backing up. Nice fight of runs for the Lanning, English. I don't think we'll be too happy with their bowler at the moment. That wasn't Stella's fault, though. Yes. Great fielding. The ball was flying. Some width on offer, but didn't throw the bat at it. And just made sure of the cut shot. So that there we saw a new feature to allow you to have a bit more control when it comes to the fielding and throwing the ball at the stumps, which the AI players don't seem to have any dramas with. A little late on that. No run scored. So even on easy, the um, mechanics and the and the um, user interface um, will take some getting used to. Oh, she's overstepped. This is everything. Oh, there you go. A no ball. Maybe just trying a little too hard. Just need to get more control back. A little sloppy on that last delivery. You don't want to be giving away free runs with no balls. Waiting. Big opportunity missed. An awful delivery that was begging to be hit. End of the over. Seven off it. England a none for 119. Great over there from Stella Campbell. Shot. Four runs. They were so still at the crease. Just a slight movement forward. Fabulous shot. Tried for something a bit different last delivery, and the captain shouldn't mind that. 
If they get it right, they might just get the wicket. Outside the line, don't even bother. I found the appeal, the appeal button. I found the appeal button. Finds the fielder with that shot. It's a great looking over from Annabelle Sutherland. Yeah. Nicely played. And that brings up the half century for this bat. That shot brings up 50, raises the bats and appreciation from the fans in the crowd. Beaumont has gotten the big shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. Eight, Eight runs are added in that over. England a none for 127. If he runs off 35 delivery, 35 illegal deliveries, I think I need to point out. Campbell continues. And oversteps. Overstepping. Just a little too eager on that delivery. I think I pressed the button early enough. Picks up 50 with that shot. A great way to start their innings. Now's the time to push on. That last ball isn't something you want a repeat of. You just don't want to give away easy runs. Doesn't beat the infield. No runs on that occasion. What a Got waste into position of a free nicely, hit. just too early on the shot and couldn't find a gap. Way. Good piece of fielding to stop some runs. Drives it, wild shot. Yay! They're confident. Don't know exactly why. I just thought I'd press the appeal button. Umpire strikes back, says not out. Of course it's not out. The ball didn't go through cleanly to heel and she didn't hit it anyway. Overstep. Yeah. Great shot through the gap there. Well, the delivery was poor. Still needs to be put away though. And what a lovely shot to find the boundary. The umpire signals are a lot better in this version. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key. Waiting. Shot. Couldn't get well it played, through the field. Well fielded. Way. 
quick onto that in the infield. End of the over, 10 runs coming from it. England are none for 137. Fifty seven or thirty six. Yeah, yeah. Hit that hard and fast. What a lovely shot. Flown to the boundary. That's not the type of ball to be bowling. A boundary last delivery. Is it a sign they're trying to push the run rate? Oh, an edge. Oh, no, what a chance. But that is racing to the boundary. Not sure that what chance that was. Australia complete a decisive victory in this match. Thank you very much for joining us here for this match. Did he say Australia? From the moment the openers walked onto the ground, you felt they knew it was their day. A huge win and fully deserved. We'll have a look at the scorecard in a moment after these highlights and see exactly how many no balls there were. I wish they'd get rid of the banner at the bottom of that screen. It's a massive spoiler, although if I wanted to use this for highlights. Or as part of my opening sequence. So Australia all out for 144 after 9.1 overs. England doing it without losing wicket after 8.2 overs. Tammy Beaumont finishing on 58 not out. Lauren Winfield Hill, 57 not out. The bowling figures, best of the bowlers. Stella Campbell done for 17. Tully McGrath done for 18. Annabelle Sutherland done for 26. And Elise Perry done for 83. She was really the sacrificial lamb, Elise Perry. Um, that's the Australian scorecard. English scoring figures. 18 extras from Elise Perry, 3 from Campbell and McGrath, 1 from Sutherland, 24 no balls and 5 wides in the end. Welcome back to the SCG. What a day for Catherine Brunch. She's worked really hard in the field. The Australians, they tried hard. Great shot there from Mooney. She was definitely the star of the innings for the ladies in the Australian green and gold. Mooney's been in fantastic form. Dispatches that one to the boundary with a bomb. Very technically correct. Another great view going over the cover region. Perfect day for cricket at the Sydney Cricket Ground today. Australia and England, and this is not what the Australians wanted to see. The Kookaburra into the stumps. A great shot here by Annabelle Sutherland. It looked fantastic. She loves that cover region. Didn't always work for her though, unfortunately. Here's Mooney with a great shot. Very unorthodox, very untypical cricket shot but one which got great results for her on multiple occasions today at the SCG. 
and Mooney definitely the star performer. She just makes that look so easy. Just got into a good position early. Here comes front again. And that ball goes high. That goes high. And what a catch in the outfield as the English take another wicket. She's excited as she should be. The Australians will be very disappointed in the batting department. The English certainly on top with the ball. Great shot there by Sutherland. Classic cover drive all the way to the boundary. She tried again, didn't necessarily work on that occasion. Picked out the field up, took the aerial route and was unsuccessful on that occasion. As we see the ball going high, high, high and into the hands of the simulated cricket.